What do I want to talk about today? Well, today I was thinking about my prints and looking at the quality of them. And there's been something that's been sort of bugging me for a little while. And it's the um, squareness of my prints. Now, I've had a look and I've adjusted my X carriage and made sure it's parallel to my print bed. I've done that many times, but there still seems to be some um, unsquareness or a lack of squareness to my models, which is really, really starting to annoy me, especially in the case now where I, I've designed this little uh, filing cabinet and I put the drawer into the actual cabinet and it's not lining up 100%. It's a little bit out of square. So what I thought I'd do today is go over my printer and um, actually had a bit of a, an epiphany where I thought, well, maybe the frame's not square. Even though I'm, I'm leveling my X carriage to the bed, what if the frame's actually out? So I grabbed my square, put it onto the frame, and lo and behold, it's out of square. And then I check the other axis, and it's also way out of square. Now, this is something that I didn't even think about checking. I just assumed that the frame would be square to the print bed. And so, um, yeah, as you can see here, it's, it's out by a fair whack. So what I did was loosened all the screws on the frame and went about checking to make sure that I had the uh, frame square on the X and Y axis. And after I did all that, uh, loosened all the screws and then retightened them all back up, I then went about and leveled the X carriage again. And I find that by leveling the X carriage to the top rail, I just put a spirit level up onto the top rail, and then uh, it's a magnetic spirit level, and then put a uh, use the same spirit level on one of the X carriage rails or rods. By doing this, I can check to see the squareness, and uh, leveled it all up, and then I had to re-level the bed and make sure that was all okay. And what I do here is I, I generally go around um, and I just I can do it by eye now just see where the the nozzle is. I just I just wanted to have a little bit of a, a gap between the nozzle and the the print bed. As long as I can see a little bit of light through there, I'm happy. Now your your mileage may vary. Your printer may have a complete different system for leveling, but this is what works best for me on the Cocoon Create Touch printer. Then if I want to go even further into it, then I'll use feeler gauges and set the gap at 0.1 millimeter but for what I'm doing here I just just eyeballing it is, is is good enough at the moment and then I've made up this little STL file or some g-code which just draws a, a pattern out or prints a pattern out onto the print bed and it starts out uh, in the center and just does a little squiggle to get the filament flowing and then moves out and just winds its way out across the print bed and I can see exactly where it's laying down filament or where it's been squashed or if it's making enough contact with the print bed and uh, after doing this I can see my, my, my bed has a bit of a bow in it um, on the outside front here the uh, filament gets squashed in towards the middle but you know, eases out towards the edges so I generally do a, a, a general level here where okay it's not going to be perfect in all areas because the print bed is a little bit bowed but at least it'll be you know, pretty good uh, all over and I can get a good reliable print off the print bed uh, using this without having to create a raft or adding rafts when printing. So once that's all done and I've tested, I'm good to print. I thought I'd just make this quick little video to share my findings with you and uh, something you might want to check on your printer. Now I see that a lot of the printers like the Prusa uh, printer have one solid piece for the the top rail which extends down the sides i think that's a great idea in the cocoon create touch case it's it's actually just bolted together the uprights versus the top x rail so yeah check your printer and i think it'd be worth doing on a regular basis every three months or so make sure it hasn't gone out of alignment i haven't really knocked my printer or it's just been sitting there printing so I'm not sure if it was out of whack from day one or it's just, it's just gradually sort of uh, worked itself into that position. But it is something that I will be keeping in mind for my next printer. And I'm making little mental notes as I go along over the last year or so using this printer 
as what I'd like to see in my next printer and um, what features I'd like to see implemented. Just from this exercise, I can tell you I, I want a good sturdy frame that won't go out of square. So that'll be one of the, the strong features on the list, as well as uh, mesh bed leveling, where I don't have to worry about uh, leveling the bed all the time and making sure it's, it's spot on and uh, something that's automated so that in that case the, the Prusa is looking like a strong contender for those two features alone. But I'm still building a list of uh, must-haves in my next printer and uh, as I'm saving towards an upgrade uh, I'll just keep an eye on what's out there and, and what fits the bill. So I think I'll call it quits here. Thanks very much for watching. I hope that you found this information useful. I thought I'd share it because uh, you never know, you may be having the same issue with your printer. Alright, that's it for now. Have a great day, and I'll catch you later.